All right, so what was happening with this unit here is we were calling for cooling, all right? First stage, Y1. Now, the economizer board is right here, and you can see that this unit has suffered some water because what happens is the blower section, which is over there, and there's no divider plate, puts the whole electrical section under a negative. Now, somebody has come along and put these on, and there's a gasket here, but these York Predator units, I've always found that because of these older ones, they don't have, they don't have blank off plates where the filters go. There's a negative here all the time and it can pull in water over time and it can get over stuff and you can actually see how water's been running down this compressor. And when it rains, it just gets sucked in. But anyway, came over to the economizer. Now it said it had Y1 in, Y1 out. I checked that. It was power in, power out. And then up at the input here, we pull this off. Up in here is a cono in and a cono out. So we had power going out to the economizer, leaving the economizer, and back in up here. So down here are the outputs. C1, C2, fan, and condenser fan. Now after probably five minutes or so, there's a time delay in here built in, five minute time delay. It would go through that. First stage compressor right here would not come on. This contactor would not pull in and somebody's gone along and put silicone on these to prevent uh, water and dirt traveling across. <laughs> it looks terrible, but that's, that's the purpose of, of why they've done it. Anyway, so what was happening is after that time delay, first stage wouldn't come on, but second stage, which is right here, would come on right there. So either the relay in the board is not working or the logic is messed up in the main control so board. I got the board out and I'm just kind of looking for any sort of markings or burnt marks on the back that would indicate any sort of failure and I'm not really seeing any at the moment. So I took this board right off and I just took all the, the Molex plugs out and all of the connection points on the thermostat. I don't know if you can see that, but I pull the board right off, put the new one on, and then I go wire for wire on the thermostat stuff. The, the Molex plugs are really easy because they're right in the place they need to be and you can't really screw those up, but you really need to be careful on these thermostat wires. And this building is quite old and the thermostat wires about three or four of them are black. So that's why you gotta be careful here. So a closer look at this board on the front side and we can see some water damage. You can see it all around the board actually. But in this area specifically, we can see some corrosion there. So anyway, the board has changed. I got the new one in and we're gonna test it out right now. Now it's a cool day, so what I had to do is I took the Y1 in, Y1 out out of the, the economizer board and I just put them together because we're bypassing the economizer because the cooling jumped out today. It's, it's raining, I got the umbrella up and we're probably around 45 degrees. So I wanted to bypass this, so we try to bang on mechanical cooling with the economizer bypassed. All right, we've waited our time delay. First stage contactor pulled in. First stage compressor is running. Everything seems good on the board. It is a low ambient day. The condenser fans are running full bore. So it is starting to freeze up, but I would expect and the condenser fans are moving full on. Doesn't look like it in the camera, but they're moving full on. So it's not really a great day to test this, but we'll test that later on. All I wanted to know was we're gonna start that first stage when we need it and the second stage will come on after. Now, troubleshooting a board is not that difficult because a board basically has inputs. We got some inputs here, some inputs here, then we have outputs. So if we're getting the correct inputs and the board is not doing what it's supposed to do on the output side, 
most likely the board's bad. So basically, you got power in, but nothing coming out. It's a good way to know if the board is, is not working properly. That's what we did here, changed it, and everything's working properly. So that's it for this one, guys. Happy HVACing.